I'm building an Arduino powered hexapod from scratch, but in this video, I'll be showing you how I made a miniature version of it and how you can make one yourself. No supports required and all the pieces snap together, so no need for screws or glue. And I'm printing it with the AnchorMake M5, the sponsor of this video. The inspiration for this came from a suggestion in my last video. I asked for attachment ideas for the hexapod and a particular one stood out. Baby hexapod robots that ride on its back that could somehow dismount and scurry away. Baby hexapods, which gave me the idea to make a scaled down action figure like version of my hexapod. First step was to make it in Fusion 360. Since this was going to be a scale model of the big hexapod, I decided to use its CAD file as a starting point. I duplicated it, deleted everything I didn't need, redrew a couple of parts, added the holes and pegs for snapping the pieces together, and I was done. That was a drastic simplification of what actually happened, but you get the idea. In hindsight, I should have just started from scratch, using the big hexapod CAD files as a reference. It was very annoying to delete things that weren't needed since everything referenced each other, but hindsight's 2020. Remaking this from scratch would make for some great CAD practice. If you do, feel free to send me the files. With that said, the CAD files and STLs that I made are linked in the description. With the models finished, it was time to slice and print them. If you're using the STL with all the parts included, just throw it in the slicer and print. If you're manually placing each part in, make sure they're oriented the correct way. The parts are designed to not require any supports, but only if they're on the correct side. The frame and femur should be right side up, the roll cage should be upside down, and the coxa and tibia should be on their side. Duplicate the coxa, femur, and tibia until there are six each, and you should be good to print. My big hexapod and all the small ones were printed with the AnchorMake M5 printer by AnchorMake, the sponsor of this video. I've been exclusively using the M5 for this hexapod project since the redesign, and it's been doing a fantastic job. It prints fast, has been extremely reliable, and is insanely accurate. You'll see just how accurate in a bit. Check out the link in the description to learn more. With the parts printed, it's time to assemble. Assembly should be pretty self-explanatory, but there are two things to watch out for. The first is the coxa orientation. The hole is supposed to be on the bottom half. To be honest though, it doesn't really matter if it's on the top or the bottom, just make sure all six are the same. The second thing is the femur orientation. The longer end should connect to the coxa and the slope should be facing up, not down. This is important because if either is wrong, the leg can't fold all the way up. Here it is fully assembled. Because of how tight the joints are, the legs stay where you move them to, letting you pose it however you want. I highly encourage you to make it your own. Change up the design, add googly eyes, do whatever this is. I personally wanted to see how small I could print this, especially since the 0.2mm nozzles I ordered for the M5 just came in. After removing the 0.4mm nozzle and replacing it with the 0.2, I reduced the size of the hexapod to 60% and tried printing. This was literally the first time I ever printed with a 0.2mm nozzle on any printer, so I didn't really know what to expect. As you can see though, it turned out flawlessly. I guess it makes sense since the nozzle got 50% smaller, but the model only got 40% smaller, but still. Seeing it print out something so detailed at such a small size was pretty awesome, but could it go smaller? I went back into the slicer and set the scale to 25%. This felt way too small in the slicer, and I didn't think there was any way this actually printed. But I was wrong. The M5 with the 0.2mm nozzle was actually able to print it. Not only did it successfully print, but all the parts snapped together fine. I was able to assemble it without any issues. Although the roll cage was so small, I literally needed tweezers to put it on. Guys, this thing is insane. I, I don't know if the camera does it justice, but it's surreal. It's so tiny, it can fit on a quarter. Let me show it to you on this camera. Hopefully, hopefully you can see it a bit better. I can't wait to see you guys make a mini hexapod. And when you do, make sure to share pictures of it in the new Discord. I finally made one. The link is in the description. I didn't want to start a server until there was actually something to make. And now there is. Show off your hexapods, talk about your projects, ask for help, pretty much anything even tangentially related to robotics and this YouTube channel is fair game. Links to the files and Discord are in the description. I really want to see someone turn this into like a spider. Eight legs, fangs, a bunch of eyes. I can't wait to see what you guys do. Now I know last video I said that this video would be on viewer suggested attachments. Obviously that's not what happened, but that doesn't mean I won't be doing it. 
There were a ton of great ideas, and I will be making a video on them. I know a bunch of you wanted some sort of Nerf gun attachment, and I promise I'll be making it, so make sure you're subbed so you don't miss it. I'll also be completely redesigning the controller and making a video on that. As you can see, it desperately needs it. And then after that, I think the Hexapod will actually be ready for release, which means creating the instructions, figuring out the kit, and then taking orders. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.